I'm not gonna check Robinhood. I'm not gonna check Robinhood. I'm not gonna check. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Oh, I shouldn't have checked. A few moments later. Nice, the market's up today. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. <laughs> you may have seen what's going on with the stock market right now. It is so volatile, up and down and up and down. At first you heard people saying, we're gonna hit the next Great Depression, just everything going down. And now things are like back on the climb, everything seems fine. And if you're just getting started in, in investing, you might not know where to even begin. So yes, we are experiencing a bear market right now, and it's likely that we will have a recession of some sort. But the good news is, generally, after a recession, we will see a market comeback. And the best thing you could do right now is to set yourself up to ride that wave when the market does come back so that you can make your money work hard for you and earn a little bit extra. So if you're interested in knowing how I'm investing through this crisis and how you can get started today, make sure to stay tuned and watch until the end. Hey guys, my name is Chris and welcome back to the Lifestyle Design Show, the number one place for young adults to learn about personal finance and how you can live a more intentional life. I'm gonna go ahead and make a really quick smoothie. I'll be right back. So first things first, what is a bear market? Well, you see, a bear market is when the stocks continually drop. Usually it's nearly a 20 to 40% drop in total value of these stocks. So here's the thing, these bear markets are often called recessions, but these recessionary periods often do not last more than two years at max, usually about 18 months is the historic trend. But here's the great thing, investing during a bear market, you're gonna find some value. Yeah, some big time value. So yes, we are heading to a bear market. And because of that, a lot of people are panic selling, making them lose a lot of money. Or a lot of people don't want to even start investing because they feel like they missed the bottom or they're worried things will hit lows again. In general, apprehensive to start. So if you're a new investor, here's a few basic core investing tips that you need to follow in order to be successful and come out of this recession stronger. So number one, never panic sell. I know that we haven't even talked about buying yet or what to buy, but in general, if you have a position and you are losing some money, don't panic sell. That's the only time you'll actually lose money. Otherwise, you still have potential for that stock and that company, that asset, to come back in value. So don't sell. The next piece of advice is to keep safe investments and also keep cash on hand. Because in a bear market, cash is king. So keep some cash, keep an emergency fund, keep a savings account, and then when you do make investments, make safe investments. Now some examples of these might be high dividend companies, and also by diversifying your portfolio and getting multiple strong companies from multiple different sectors, then you'll be much more safe and safeguarded from a recession. And so here's what I'm doing. I'm using my Acorns app more than ever. That's right, I'm actually letting an automated service via Acorns do a lot of my investing for me, and let me tell you why. So first I wanna say that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm just a 21 year old who is trying to weather this recession and come out of this thing stronger than before. The reason that I'm using Acorns more now than ever before is because I've used this app for over two years. I've had a very positive experience with it, and with the economic times we're in, I see huge advantage to using a service like this. Specifically, the service that I'm talking about that Acorns offers is their Roundup feature. Acorns app lets you invest your spare change. So let's say you're at the gym and you buy a smoothie afterwards and it's $3.50. Acorns is connected to your cards and connected to your bank account so that it can invest the remaining 50 cents for you into a broadly diversified fund. This roundup feature can be applied to all of your expenditures and you can imagine how that really adds up. 50 cents here, 70 cents here. Acorns also offers something called multipliers to your roundup function. So you can two times, five times, or 10 times your change. So for example, for me, I have 10 times multipliers on. I know, crazy, right? So if I spent 350 on that smoothie, I had 50 cents left, 50 cents times 10, would be $5. They would automatically invest 
five dollars for me. Every month, I don't really feel the immediate impact of that coming out of my budget. A little bit here and there that just makes a difference. Acorns also lets you do automatic deposits on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. So what does Acorns actually invest in for you? And why am I using it now more than ever? Well see, Acorns is a robo-advisor, and those are getting more popular. Basically, what a robo-advisor is, is it takes your age, you know, your investing interests, your timeline, and it creates a portfolio for you to invest your money in. And so with Acorns, there is five different portfolio types. There's conservative, there is moderately conservative, there's moderate, there is moderately aggressive, and then there is aggressive. So you'll see that there is a varying amount of large company stocks, small company stocks, emerging stocks, global stock, real estate funds, as well as US treasury bonds, corporate bonds. And so for me, personally, I have my portfolio set at moderate. And every single month, I have my 10 times multipliers on, I have my roundups, and I do a small monthly reoccurring investment as well. And see, the thing I really love about Acorns is it has this little sliding scale that'll tell you real time what your money's projected to be worth over time. And so when I first started investing, Acorns is the first app that I ever used. It's the first investing platform that I really started with and it got, it got me hungry for more. I would sit there at night, you know, freaking 19 year old Christopher on my phone looking at the scale, the sliding scale like, wow, at 30 years old, my money will be worth $12,000? Oh my God, at 50, I'll have a 100,000? From there, I, you know, really got started into investing in the world of personal finance. I fell in love with investing because of Acorns. So I'm gonna show you a visual representation of why it's so important to keep your money in the stock market. Are you ready? Let's go. So if you look at any one of these trees, basically they all started as a tiny seed. And over time, whether it was rainy, whether it was sunny, whether it was hot, whether it was cold, the ups and the downs, they grew and they grew and they continued to grow into big, strong plants. Or if I could find an oak tree, a big, mighty oak. And see, that's what I love about investing because no matter if it's up or if it's down, if the market is volatile, consistent investing will give you results just like these trees. You're gonna see growth and value over time. And don't get me wrong, I use many different investing platforms like Robinhood, Acorns, Weeble, and the reason I continue to use Acorns is because I believe all of our spare change should be invested. There's no reason that we shouldn't be consistently investing. And Acorns lets me do that. And I also wanna say this video is not sponsored in any way, but if you did wanna sign up for one of the investing platforms that I mentioned today, feel free to use any of the referral links in the description and you'll get some free stuff and I'll get some free stuff and it'll be great. We'll both get free stuff, which is always awesome. The best strategy you could do is something called dollar cost averaging. It means that you consistently buy at different prices and over time, you're averaging your total cost. Let's just use a food example. Let's say you bought a bag of apples for $5 one week, and then $4 the next week, and then $6 the following week. Your average price for apples would be about $5 because it's the average over time. So basically through this bear market, you wanna continue to invest as normal. And you wanna listen to Warren Buffett's advice where he says time in the market beats timing the market. It's really hard to do, especially right now when things are so volatile. So you've heard why I love acorns, but you might be wondering, how much does it cost? Is there fees associated? I only use platforms that are free, that don't charge me any sort of commission or fees. So here's the thing with Acorns. It is a paid service. The most basic tier is $1 a month, and that gives you all the functions I just talked about, plus something called found money, which is almost like Rakuten or Honey. When you shop online, you get a percentage of it back. Um, which is actually really cool. I need to use more found money because I don't do that very often. And then if you get the second tier, which is $2 a month, that includes their Roth IRA, Acorns Later. And then if you get tier three, that's $3 a month, and that comes with their Acorns checking account and debit card. And honestly, it's, it's not a bad checking account. It's not a bad debit card. But here's my thoughts about that. If you're a college student, Acorns is completely free for four years. So make sure to sign up using your school email address and get that free service right now. There's nothing stopping you. Now, if you're not a student and you would have to pay the monthly fee of one to $3 a month, is it worth it? You can invest using the same strategy using a free platform like Vanguard or Fidelity or Robinhood or Weeble. 
But if you're doing a Roth IRA, Fidelity or Vanguard is probably your best options. Uh, I heard M1 Finance also has a good Roth IRA. I haven't tried it out, but something to check out. So the question remains, is Acorn still a valuable option when there's so many other free options available? If you're just getting started and you would have to pay that $1 fee, honestly, it's not worth it. That $1 every month really takes out of your overall earnings. But you see, Acorns becomes more and more worth it with the more money you put in your account because the fee accounts for a smaller percentage of your overall invested. If you're not already investing and you just need a boost, you need something to help you get started, Acorns just really takes the guessing game away and lets you safely and consistently invest in the stock market. So for me, the way that I use Acorns, and I still use my Acorns account because I'm a student and I don't have to pay any fees. After I'm not a student, I might take my money out and I might go elsewhere with it. I'm not sure, I really do love the Acorn service, so I might just keep the account and absorb the $1 fee every month because after all, it is only a dollar, which won't break the bank. But the way that I use my Acorns account is I keep it on moderate. And I know I could probably go a little bit more aggressive personally because I have such a large time horizon, but I like to keep it moderate. I wanna know that my money is liquid and it's there if I need it. And I look at this account like a second emergency fund. That's really what I do. I have my emergency fund set aside in a savings account that I can access anytime if I need it. But I also wanna have some money sitting in an investment account. I wanna see it grow. I, I don't want all of my money that I'm putting aside for an emergency to just be dormant, especially right now when interest rates on savings accounts are so low. So that's why I use my Acorns account as a second emergency fund and I keep it at moderate. And personally, I've had a lot of positive experience with this. My account growth has been anywhere from seven to 9% consistently. Even during the massive dip, it only dropped down for me to about 7% overall. So I've been really happy using this account as a sort of makeshift emergency fund. I do like having more control over my money. And so that's why I transitioned from only using Acorns to also using Robinhood and then Webull. So what stocks am I investing in right now? Well, aside from Acorns, what I've been doing is investing in index funds. Specifically, I really like this high dividend index fund called SPHD. Of course, Vanguard, VOO. I also like to pick individual stocks sometimes. So this month I picked up Beyond Meat stock. I also stupidly bought one Carnival Cruise Line for $12 and I'm already losing money on it. Something else I have my eye on is Boeing. I think that's gonna be a really good long-term play. Also grocery stores, I feel like Walmart might be another defensive stock. As far as individual stocks, if I do invest in them, they have to have a really strong analysis. I wanna see a solid dividend history. I wanna see a solid dividend. I also wanna see that they're defensive, that they're not gonna be impacted too badly by this recession. So as far as Cruise stocks, they might not be the best companies to invest in. Airline stocks, I don't know. Better than that is really just to invest in the overall market using an index fund because that's where you're gonna get a solid reward with the least amount of risk. Let me share the four crucial money habits that Acorns taught me in the time of me using it. So number one, small purchases really do add up. Be mindful of your small purchases. Cut back if you can, and even if you can't cut back, Maybe considering a roundups feature like Acorns has or a multiplier. So every time you do purchase something, you're forced to invest as well. Number two, always, always, always pay yourself first. If you pay yourself first, you'll get used to living at the lower income level. And that money will just be automated into your savings account, into your investment account. And that's how you become an automatic millionaire. Number three is savings and investing compounds over time. And the earlier you can start, the better. And number four, you can really automate almost every part of your money. Automate and forget. Make sure your money is going where it needs to go every month and pay yourself first and then forget about it. Just don't think about it. Don't panic sell. Don't worry about what's going on around you. Just do your thing and wait and be a long-term investor because you're gonna see some massive results. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. So I'm looking for an oak tree, driving everywhere. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. We found one. A mighty oak. <laughs>